Well, we wanted to show you just a real simple soft tissue modality that we use here at our office. It's called instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. It can work well for scar tissue. There's a number of little benefits uh, for helping to encourage tissues to become more normal, more compliant. Sometimes the way that the area moves is the problem, plantar fasciitis, um, bicipital tendonitis, Mari has some uh, issues with her lower part of her legs, her calves, that are residual to uh, pregnancy and preeclampsia, uh, scar tissue formation around her lower part of her legs. So I can usually tell when it's bad if my lower back really hurts, but um, also it's I have no flexibility, so I usually know when that's going on that I probably need to do some muscle work. It doesn't feel great, but it's not terrible. Um, so when I just trying to touch my legs, I can go about device, so she's about a half inch off uh, of the tool. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't take very long to do, but it can net big benefits. So we're just gonna kind of explore see how this area feels it's with the tool we kind of scan the is that sore no not too bad right there Ugh. so we work no, across up, right there. multiple directions so we're hunting for problem areas that feel a little bit odd with the tool Okay, so with just scraping the area, um, I like to reassess to see if they have any change in how far that they can stretch. So we're gonna see how close she could get. She was about a half inch from reaching the tool last time. So we've, we've, we've already gained three inches. So then we do the next spot now that we've identified the strange spots of right here and, and right through there, we do just a little bit more in depth, meaner uh, soft tissue mobilization. This is a technique <laughs> called ART or MRT. Um, it's quick, it's three to five passes across the sore spots. It usually feels quite sore especially oh. when you find the spots that are uh, abnormal. <laughs> right here, this was a bad idea. Oh, wow. Son of a gun. Sorry, we'll edit that out. So it feels like I'm using a lot of, a lot of pressure. I'm really not. Um, as people come in and things change, um, like on, on follow-up visits, this wouldn't feel near as sore. significant benefit with a uh, something that quick if it's the hamstrings you work the hamstrings if it's the glutes you work the glutes it's a really simple tool that can really uh, promote normal um, normal so action in between the... in between doing that the more you if you can stretch so I usually will mm -hmm. try and aggressively stretch the back of my calf well, wherever it hurts the most, that's where you're gonna to wanna to stretch. And if I do that consistently, then I keep the gains. The problem is, is I'm not great at being consistent. Um, 
So when you're in the shower, at least once a day, try and, and stretch that area. It's really good. That's it. Okay. Thank